again boys and girls. Today we're going to do some more mental maths but today we're going to be thinking about the number that comes before. So when we're thinking about the number that comes before, I wonder does the answer get bigger or does the answer get smaller? Great. If you said the answer gets smaller then really well done. So for this today you need to make sure that you either have a whiteboard or else just a wee scrap piece of paper will do the same job. So pause the video and make sure that you have either one of those things for me. Fabulous. Okay, on your piece of paper or on your whiteboard, can you write down the number that comes before four? What number comes before four? Okay, you write that down and get ready to show me. Okay, and show me. If you've written the number three on your whiteboard, then really well done. But I wonder if you could tell me why the answer's three. Great, that's because the number three comes before the number four on the number line, isn't that right? Very good. Okay. On your whiteboard, can you tell me the number that comes before seven? What number comes just before seven? Can you write it down, please? Okay, and get ready to show me. If you've written down the number six, then fantastic, really well done. The number six does come before the number seven. But I wonder if you could tell me why the answer is six. Great, well done. Okay, can you tell me the number that comes before our number of the week? Which number comes before 11? Can you write the answer down on your whiteboard? And show me. Okay, if you wrote down the number 10, then really well done. Who thinks they can tell me why it's number 10 though? Great, well done. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit trickier. So listen really carefully and don't worry if you find this a little bit harder because we'll be doing lots more work on this. Can you tell me the number that comes two before the number 10? So not just one before, but two before. And again, like yesterday, if you need to have your little bits of Numicon sitting out in the right order, then that's absolutely no problem. That will help you. So the number that comes two before the number 10. Okay, and get ready to show me. Okay, and show me. If you said the number eight, then really well done, because that was tricky. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Can you tell me the number that comes two before the number six. So what number comes two before the number six? Okay. And show me. Okay, if you're showing me the number four, then really well done. But could you tell me why the answer is four? Brilliant. If you count back twice, you end up with a number four, don't you? Well done. Okay, make sure that you move on to your practical number activity that's also uploaded on the Seesaw for you as well. And have a great Friday. Well done, great work, and I'll see you again next week. Bye. Hello P2, it's really great to be speaking to you today. Usually when we're in school we do PE once a week, so I thought that today we would include some PE in our maths activity. 
So we've been doing lots of practicing of our number bonds of 10. So I thought that we would practice our number bonds of 10 while we're doing some exercises. So we're going to be doing 10 star jumps, we're going to be doing 10 jumps, 10 hops. But because your teacher isn't very fit, I'm going to need your help to do these. Before we start any PE lesson, we always have to do something first. Do you think you know what that is? Yep, we need to do a warm up. So before we do anything else, we're going to do a warm up. First of all, we're going to warm up our arms. So if you bring your arms out to the side and make your body really wide, we're going to draw 10 circles in the air. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Still need to warm up our legs. So we're going to do 10 cross body marches just like this. So you have to get this hand and match it up with this knee. And we're going to do that 10 times, boys and girls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is where I really need you to think about your number bonds of 10. And this is where I'm definitely going to be needing your help, boys and girls. We're going to start off by doing 10 hops. Okay, so I'm going to do two hops. How many more hops are you going to have to do? So two plus what makes 10? How we think about it while I do my two hops. I'm going to put one foot on the floor and one foot in the air. I'm going to go one, two. So if you did eight more hops, then we know that two plus eight equals 10. So well done. So this time I'm going to do five hops. How many more hops do you need to do to make 10? So while I'm doing the five hops, you have a little think about it. One, two, three, four, five. Now it's over to you, Peter. So this time, boys and girls, we're going to do some running on the spot. I'm going to run for seven seconds. How many seconds do you need to run for to make 10? So seven plus what makes 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, P2, it's over to you now. I'm going to run for four seconds. So how long will you have to run for? So four plus what makes 10? One, two, Three, four. This time we're going to try some star jumps. I'm going to do one star jump. So how many star jumps do you need to do, P2? One. So one plus what makes 10? Oh my goodness, P2, we ran into a bit of a problem. I'm absolutely exhausted. So I can't do any star jumps. So zero plus how many make 10? How many star jumps do you need to do? Okay, P2, really, really well done today. But now it's over to, over to you to continue the challenge. Why don't you set this challenge for somebody else in your house? Well done, speak to you soon, bye.